Today on Basic Bytes, I'm going to show you a hidden feature of the Final Cartridge 3 that I have just recently discovered. As the term hidden would suggest, this function is nowhere in the manual and nor is it documented anywhere that I have thus far been able to find. Greetings, it's JC at Basic Bytes, and today's video is all about the Final Cartridge 3. Don't program without it. This is the cartridge that occupies the expansion port on my Commodore 64C the majority of the time, and in playing around with it, I recently discovered an undocumented feature. As you're able to see from the present screen, this is the December 1988 ROM revision, which was the last ROM revision released for this cartridge, or the final Final Cartridge 3, if you will. However, thanks to the magic of emulation, I have already tried what I'm going to show you today on multiple ROM revisions, and it seems to be consistent right across the board. The undocumented function has specifically to do with the Final Cartridge 3's fast loader, so let's drop into BASIC. For the benefit of those who may not be very familiar with the Final Cartridge 3, I will briefly recap how the fast loader generally works so that everybody understands what's going on. By default, on startup, both the fast loader and the BASIC toolkit are enabled. The toolkit is a set of extended basic commands. For example, instead of typing out load star comma eight comma one, you can simply type deload, or in this case, press the shortcut key, which is F5. Notice that we have just fast loaded a machine language program to memory location 6000, although the program itself is completely inconsequential here. Another command that Final Cartridge 3 users should be very familiar with is the OFF command. The OFF command turns off the basic toolkit but does not disable the fast loader. This is important when you are loading other extensions, toolkits, and environments so that the commands that are built into the Final Cartridge 3 do not create a conflict with whatever extended commands are being brought in by the software that you're loading. This, of course, means that we lose access to the cartridge's built-in commands. For example, if we type deload, that command is no longer recognized. However, the classic load star comma eight comma one will still fast load the same program to memory location 6000. Now the thing about 1541 fast loaders is that they tend to crash your entire system when you use them to try to load anything from a non 1541 device. So if, for example, you have on device number 8 or 9 a 1581 disk drive, or even a 1571 in 1571 mode, you need to disable the fast loader in order to be able to load from it successfully. The only documented way of doing this is by issuing the kill command. This completely disables the final cartridge 3, and as you can now see, this load command is loading at normal 1541 stock speed. If we now wish to jump into the machine language monitor, for example, to take a look at what we just loaded, we can't do it because the basic toolkit was taken out with the rest of the cartridge when we issued the kill command. In all fairness, the documentation for the kill command does give you one option of being able to get the toolkit back without having to hit the reset button on your Commodore. And the way you do that is you press the freezer button, and from the freezer, you drop straight into the machine language monitor. Upon doing so, the cartridge is reactivated. 
there is no documented way of circumventing the fast loader while the cartridge itself remains active. However, it appears that the programmers of the final cartridge 3 did indeed include that functionality, and the magic number is 2. I have just reset the Commodore 64 so that the final cartridge 3 is fully activated. However, if I now type in load star comma 8 comma 2, lo and behold, we are loading at stock 1541 speed and the fast loader has not engaged. I believe the odds to be overwhelming that this was deliberate design rather than accidental, and to understand why, let's take a quick look at how secondary addresses work on the load command itself. Most Commodore 64 users will be aware that the difference between typing load star comma 8 comma 1 and simply load star comma 8, which is an implicit comma 8 comma 0, is that comma 8 comma 1 will load a program to whatever its internally defined load address is in memory, while doing a simple comma 8 will forcibly relocate the program to the start of basic memory. As we see here, the fast loader engaged, but the program was loaded to the start of basic memory at 0801 rather than its predefined load address at 6000. It is a somewhat lesser known fact that the load command does not regard the secondary address of comma 1 in specific as being anything special. In terms of knowing whether or not to relocate a program in memory, all the load command is simply looking for is whether the secondary address is zero or non-zero. For example, if I pick a completely random number as the load address, for example, load star comma eight comma sixty-nine, notice that the fast loader has once again engaged and the program has been loaded to its built-in memory address of 6000, just as if we had typed load star comma 8 comma 1. Nice! For this reason, I believe that the designers of the Final Cartridge 3 wrote specific behavior for a secondary load address of 2, even though that behavior never made it into the final manual. As of the filming of this video in March of 2022, I have not encountered any publication suggesting that the Final Cartridge 3 has a flag to instruct it not to use its fast loader, and if you have seen such a thing, please leave me a link in the comments below as I would be very interested to see it. Meanwhile, if you found this interesting or entertaining, Please like and subscribe to Basic Bytes for more. Also, if you are a fellow member of The Final Club 3 and you have your own favorite undocumented feature or behavior, please leave me a description in the comments below. Thank you for watching.